Welcome to Avid Media Central Editorial Management. Editorial Management is a simple, lightweight collaboration toolset with a bird's eye view of everything on your Avid Nexus shared storage. You access Editorial Management through a Chrome browser, and that can be run on nearly any Mac or Windows computer with a connection to Nexus. I'm going to give you a walking tour of the system and all of its capabilities, and to do that, let's dive in by first logging into the system with our Avid Nexus user. The user interface is designed to be lean and approachable. And there's basically two modes. There's a browse mode and a search mode. If you click on the folder icon to reveal the browse mode, you'll see all the Nexus workspaces on the left-hand side that you're entitled to see based on your Nexus user. I can search for content by clicking through the workspaces on the left-hand side by clicking through this way, or I can drill down and reveal the folders and projects in the middle pane and the bins. Right now I'm in a bin called Shot List, and inside this bin I see master clips, sub clips, even sequences. This is actually a browser-based representation of the same physical bin that a Media Composer system creates and writes to. Both Editorial Management and Media Composer can write to bins because they use the same bin service. If I click on an asset, if I double click on an asset and bring up a clip, I get a player. And then here I have basic JKL controls, such as L for play, K for stop, J for backwards, just like any Media Composer nonlinear tool. Down here, there's an informational panel with tabs for audio, adding metadata, or I can add markers. As I add markers, this metadata is written, physically written, to the same bin that Media Composer and Media Composer teams are looking at. So if I add some comments, wide shot, as soon as I save this, it's available to the rest of the team, even though I'm doing it inside a Chrome browser. I can also create group clips. In fact, up to 64 sub clips or master clips, or both, can be selected and grouped into Media Composer groups. If I right click and choose group clip, I can do some very basic vertical storyboarding, give it a name, we'll call it group one. I can group them based on a mark endpoint or the start of the media, hit submit, and again, that is now available to the rest of the team as it's being written to a Media Composer bin. Now, one of the most powerful aspects of editorial management is the search capability. If I go into search mode, editorial management effectively becomes a search engine for your entire Nexus environment. I can do searches against bin metadata, or I can do keyword searches based on a phonetic index. If I go back to browse, I can also create a simple timeline or rough cut, so I can hand the baton to other editors using Media Composer. So I'll choose a bunch of clips, I'll right click, I'll call this rough cut, I'll submit it, and that is written directly to a Media Composer bin. Finally, I can open up the editorial management interface, not only in a Chrome browser, but directly inside Media Composer. So if I go to the tools menu inside Media Composer and choose editorial management, I see the same browser-based in interface inside Media Composer where I can find the content that I need regardless of project type and load it into the bin monitor and add it to my project. So I hope you enjoyed this walking tour of Media Central Editorial Management. Please see our other video where I go into more depth on timeline editing.